Hey everybody, I'm back again with another toy review. This time it is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Ultimate Krang Android Body Figure. Um, this figure is really freaking amazing. Um, and NECA really um, upped the supplies of these guys at the Target stores where these uh, turtle figures can be found. Um, I'm just really overall super happy with this figure. Um, I will say though, right away when you take him out of the box, um, be very careful with the joints and stuff and, uh, you know, just rock them maybe back and forth a little bit or use a blow dryer to get them loose. Um, uh, I had to also scrape some of the paint off of the joints, um, on the elbow area and around the feet area as well. Um, anyway, so, uh, moving on from that, there, there are a few minor, um, like uh, paint issues that are easy to touch up if you if you know what you're doing but uh i mean even if not I, I don't think it's really that bad i haven't seen too many that are really messed up on this figure um i feel like they really did a good job on this one um and actually most of the articulation on this figure is hidden pretty well i think um and it just it works really well with how the uh android body is designed as well um and as you can see he comes with a ton of accessories um and i'll get those out of the way first then we can move on to krang uh, one of my favorite accessories being uh the baby shredder uh, let's see we'll jump right into that um he has like mud or something on his uh, blades here and i think it's from uh when he fell in the water uh when they were in the swamp i'm pretty sure that's what that's from um he should maybe have more mud on him but he doesn't uh, if that's what they're going for I'm not sure though um he, he surprisingly well my the one on one his helmet uh wasn't glued down so it popped right off for some reason but i kind of like it that it does that uh kind of cool um anyways he has really uh, good articulation for like a little mini figure. Uh, his head is like on a uh, ball joint. Which, let me just pop it off so you can see the ball joint a little head, and it goes back on pretty easily. I may eventually glue this helmet down, but I kind of like it loose like that. Um, let me take it off so you can see his articulation better. Uh, he has a uh, ball jointed. Uh, shoulders. Uh, no, not sure if his hands move. I can't get them to move. I think they're stationary. I think they're glued in place there. Um, but he does have um, like a little waist articulation there, so he can move and you could sit him down. He could throw a little temper tantrum. <laughs> so uh, there's that. Uh, his his feet do move though. Which I think is really super cute. You can have him kicking his little feet around and throwing his little angry temper tantrum, being a little brat. Um, with this uh, baby shredder, I do hope that we get the baby turtles uh, for when they uh, get shrunk by like a, a kid ray or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it's so long ago since I watched. I can't remember um, when they. Uh, turn into kids i think there's one where it's like uh, a space circus with captain krulik or something like that it comes with uh and works for krang and him and his like monkey alien creature end up going after the turtles and i think maybe donatello is the only one who doesn't get turned into a baby i think i think that's it anyways <laughs> i'm getting uh off track here so that's baby shredder really cool accessory um he comes with uh these maces which are really awesome they're really uh thick and spiky so i would be careful you could really hurt somebody with these things and uh the chains are real metal so that's awesome so you get two of those one for each arm we'll go over this stuff in a bit and i'll show you how they all pop in uh, Krang has a an axe, a little bit of a paint mark there. I do love the uh, really cartoonish look to these. Uh, they did a really good job. Um, then there's this spinny blade, which unfortunately the 
uh, factory put on backwards for some reason I'm not sure why they did that uh, because the underside is actually painted and stuff uh, I believe some people have gotten this off and flipped it over but I'm not feeling too brave I don't think I'm gonna do that so maybe I'll watch their tutorials and do it uh, he also comes with these blasters which are really well done love the design um, and these I think just pop in there like pigs like that and then he comes with one two three sets of hands and these are like uh, reach out and grab your hands uh, these are kind of the same thing these are his like uh, gimme 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 hands <laughs> if you uh, know what I'm talking about a little greedy Krang wants uh, to hold stuff in his hands there. And then these, uh, well, they're kind of more like weapon holding hands. These are, oh, they're slippery. A lot of these uh, things are kind of oiled up, I guess, to uh, work better. Um, the plastic is, it's like in between on these. They're not too hard, not too soft. Um, I would prefer them to be softer personally, but they're not too bad. There's that, and then you get uh, you get blueprints for Knucklehead and the Android body, which is really cool. We saw those at uh, like uh, Toy Fair, I think. And they're really like, uh, and these are just uh, a printed piece of paper. I like this a lot. Nice addition to the collection. Um, and then this is uh, soap on a rope from one specific episode. I can't remember which one it is. I posted it online. Uh, and this uh, goes around uh, the android's neck. Uh, it's so funny. Um, and then uh, he has uh, he has a uh, shower cap here. So you're gonna have to take the uh, you're gonna have to take the uh, shower cap off or the uh, antenna off to put the shower cap on the android's head. You can see that. Let me move this up a little bit. And then you can put the, they made it so there's a, a hole in the top of that. And then you can put the antenna back on through. <laughs> just, I think it's so funny, I love it. I love that NECA included that stuff. Some people thought it was like a, uh, some kind of, like, sun, like desert sun hat or something, but it's not what it is. It's his uh, shower cap. <clears throat> Personally, I always thought that the flap in the back was uh, uh, a mistake on the cartoon. I don't think it's supposed to be there. I think it was just supposed to be like the wrap part. Um, so they also included his towel, which some people think is a blanket because of the material. Um, but you get Craig's towel as well. So it's just, it's so funny. I think it's great that they included those accessories. So that's all the accessories um, that the Android body comes with there. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff. Um, so let me take that back off. And shower cap is a uh, soft rubbery material, by the way. Um, put his antenna back in. Um, one thing I would have liked him to have would be to have the uh, the control um, from Michelangelo takes control of the uh, Android body later on in the series. That would have been pretty neat. I think it was his uh, like a video game or something that Michelangelo ended up using <laughs> on the Android body and controlling it. So, anyways, let's uh, get right into this big boy here and uh, his articulation, which is really awesome. Um, I love the articulation in the head. It's like a, uh, just like a wobbly ball joint. It's really cool. You can rotate the head all the way around. It really doesn't uh, mess up the sculpt at all either. Um, and the uh, shoulder pads are a soft rubbery plastic. And you've got uh, ball jointed uh, shoulders and they move very nicely. Uh, same with the elbows. And you can rotate those all the way around. Very nice. Same thing on both sides, and then you have the hand articulation, which all of the hands are the same. Um, it's very nice. 
Um, let's see. Oh, he does move out the way. So he spins all the way around. Um, he has the new hip articulation, which, by the way, I feel like they like rushed this or something because the paint uh, rubbed off from his underwear onto his thighs, which kind of shitty. Um, let's see what else. These uh, hips, they do come out, but I wouldn't recommend like really messing with them too much. I feel like it might end up breaking. Um, his underwear are made from a like a soft rubbery plastic, and it's like a like a weird skeleton underneath it or something. It's not the whole thing. I was expecting this to be like solid plastic here, but it's not. It's all soft rubbery plastic over top of like a little um, like a skeleton underneath. It's interesting. Um, then you have the uh, knee articulation. It's double, double jointed, and it actually works really well. Uh, trying to get up. Oh, there we go. The top one to go on that one. There you go. Um, and then you have the foot articulation, which is there was a lot of paint on the joint of this one, so that is that. So overall, I really like the articulation on this figure. Um, <clears throat> I do wish they would stop putting the uh, paint in the joints. I know they're trying to uh, match up the colors better, but it really doesn't matter personally. I think I think collectors would rather, you know, not have a figure get stuck in the joints area instead of having all this paint there. Um, so it's a little difficult to uh, get Crank in there. You have to you have to like pop him, pop the upper half half off of the uh, android body to get Krang in there. Um, and there's like little ridges and stuff. And he has a uh, little pig here, and he sits there. Oh, and his little um, controls move as well. Um, it's really awesome because the uh, inside is all painted and everything as well. So a little bit of a difficult time trying to get him to hold both of these controls actually uh, there we go I got it there you go there's Krang's android body um, you can get this uh, pop back on hopefully without any trouble let's see here I feel like it more difficult to get it back on than it is to take it off. So there you go. There we go. And it snaps back in. So that is Krang's Android body. It's really awesome. Love it a lot. Um one last thing, I just want to say how much I love the uh packaging design for the box and how much uh just how great it is that they're doing like the uh old VHS throwbacks. Um it's really cool from the uh, the logos and everything, and just how it looks. Uh, the artwork is just such a cool throwback. I really love it. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.